hello, everybody. Um, my name's Kevin Segi. Uh, I'm the CEO of Ad Live, and I have with me here uh, Ted Kozak, our CTO. Um, we travelled in from London uh, last night, so it's about four o'clock in the morning for us. Um, but we've had a coffee, so it's fine. Um, so Ad Live, we're a web RTC platform. Uh, we're a small team. There are only seven of us. Um, and we've been working with the WebRTC technology since 2010. So literally before you know, WebRTC, uh, the, the term is even coined, we've been working with the technology uh, through companies like GIPS. Um, we're a full real-time communication stack. So this is quite different to the, um, uh, the way other platforms have gone about developing their solution. We're a team of C and C++ uh, based coders. Um, and we focused on this from the very start. So instead of you know, coming from uh, you know, the WebRTC as a layer uh, and then trying to build up uh, in terms of iOS and supporting other devices, we have this core C++ library um, that makes it very easy for us to support um, Internet Explorer, Safari via a plugin, uh, as well as native iOS and Android apps. And then we've got uh, SDKs for... Um, uh, for Linux, for Mac OS, and Windows. Um, and this also allows us to do other things like screen sharing. We're also a cloud service. Uh, so not only do we have the endpoints, the SDKs, we've got a full uh, service in the cloud. We have about 40 streamers running. Uh, we're doing a few million minutes at the moment. Um, the, um, the system has been built to scale. Uh, so it's very easy for us to uh, increase capacity. Um, we allow massive multi-party. Um, we do downlink and uplink adaptation, and we'll talk a bit more about that in the demo. Um, and we also have firewall traversal uh, and proxy support. We grew up in an environment, one of our first customers was a, a, a company that served you know, the largest pharmaceutical uh, companies in the world. And they, um, yeah, we went through a whole lot of firewall traversal and proxy support stuff that we, we added in for them, uh, which is useful in the enterprise. Yeah, and we deployed. Uh, so we deployed to over 5,000 businesses um, through our customers' applications. Um, and these are, like I said, large pharmaceuticals, large healthcare providers, um, even uh, through Bratton Technologies, which is actually a uh, law enforcement social network started by uh, Bill Bratton, the ex-police commissioner of, um, of the New York Police Department. So we're being used in a lot of the police departments uh, in the US already. Uh, tonight we're going to announce version three. Uh, we've been working very hard on this. It's taken us about six months. Um, we, one thing that we've, we've been working on from the start is, is interoperability, obviously, with the Chrome and, and Firefox uh, native WebRTC, and this is what this brings us. Um, so you can kind of think of us as being a WebRTC stack that has grown alongside the Firefox and the Chrome uh, stacks, um, and over the last six months, we've, uh, we've been really working really hard to get there. Um, so what we'll hopefully demo for you tonight is, uh, one, uh, you know, Extremely high quality multi-party uh, video, uh, support for WebRTC, so native Chrome. Uh, we'll be running a browser, uh, uh, Internet Explorer as well. Um, we've also got an iOS app uh, and an Android uh, app. And we may just have one other. We're going we're gonna to test that on the fly, so let's hope that works. And we up. Yes, yeah, so uh, what you can see here is, um, I'm not sure exactly which one's doing which, but uh, we've got coverage of all the devices here, all the SDKs um, that we use. Um, so just to go a little bit into the technology, we have both uplink and downlink adaptation. Uh, so what this means is uh, we adapt you know, to certain metrics like um, uh, packet loss, queuing delay, uh, um, CPU usage, um, and we do this on the fly in real time. Um, and not only do we do this amongst you know the 
uh, the kind of ad live WebRTC, but also with the Chrome WebRTC. So the Chrome WebRTC will change on the fly as, as requested. So we'll tell it you know, to throttle the bandwidth or improve the bandwidth, um, and it will do it. And I'm not sure if there's anybody else in the room who can do that. I could be wrong, um, but I think we're the only people who are doing that at the moment. Um, the final thing that we wanted to show you tonight is, and this may be a world first, um, WebRTC on Google Glass. Um, Google Glass still runs H.264. They don't do VP8, so I think this may be a first um, in all, uh, ac across all the different platforms. So I'm going to ask Ted to try and turn that on. Oh, is it on? <laughs> it's on. <laughs> Sorry. I can't see at the bottom. Do you want to scroll, scroll up? You can see the bottom. Is it the bottom middle one? Okay. Yeah, you can. There we go. So that's uh, we're about to see on Google Glass. Um, yeah, we've, we're at live. Uh, we're in booth uh, 202. Uh, please give us a visit. Thank you.